102 left to play here in the third. Shot to end this cold run. That's good. Crowder's got 17. This quarter has brought out the best in him, fellas. Even though they're still trailing, he's been impossible to contain. Inside, and he jams it with authority. Clearly, he's one of the best there is in the business when it comes to making that lead pass. Smart passes to Rogier. 41 seconds left in the third. A tad short, but it's good off the front iron. Rogier's got his second bucket of the night. They're not as aggressive from the outside here, but maybe they should think about stretching the defense a little bit, like they did in the first half. I mean, stretching the defense makes it easier to score inside, too. It's blocked. They recover it, and it's good. Crowder's got 13 points in the second half. Smith outside. There's the screen to the wing right side. His three-pointers off the mark. One second left. Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits, it may be difficult to overcome. 76ers lead by 18. And time for the short break and stay right where you are. The fourth quarter is coming up next. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Celtics trail by 18. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Hood, he's in at small forward. Okafor out there at Nerland's Noel. Then it's Thompson, and it's Jenkins in at the point guard position. Six to shoot. Here's Smart. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. And when he gets in his head that he's going to get to the basket, very little you can do defensively. Pick by Okafor. And Jenkins kicks to Noel. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. I mean, if you're looking to get back into this game, you have to get tougher defensively. Now the feed to Bradley. Off the screen. And there are the Celtics with another basket. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hands. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. And then Okafor slams it in. You know, looking around, he knew one of his teammates was going to be open when they hit him with that double team, and he took advantage. Smart with the ball. Here's Mickey. Good, and Smart gets the assist. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Jenkins dishes to Hood. Whoa! And that kind of defense... Ain't going to get it done. Gee, we don't see those kinds of dunks out of him all the time, but we know he's got it in him. There's no doubt about that, fellas. I mean, the more finishes like that he gets, the more his confidence will grow. Special thanks to Kia for that sweet Kia slam cam replay. Just a really solid display there of rebounding. They've done it really all game. Dominating on the glass, Greg. I mean, a huge advantage for them in that particular category. You know what? A low percentage pass on that one, but sometimes it's worth the risk. Well, that time the risk did not pay off because it was well defended. Isaiah Thomas, he's checked in for Rozier. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Thompson passes to Hood, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Some excellent numbers in this one for Big Smooth. 14 rebounds and some big-time point production as well. He is in complete control of this game. Clark, you're on the money with that one. It's all going his way. All free throws, good from Hood. He's been to the line here more than in the first. I thought he was a bit tentative in that first, but I like the aggressiveness he's showing here now. Thomas kicks to Bradley. Off target from three-point range. He had a couple in the first, but so far he's been unable to get uncorked here. Okafor sets the pick for Jenkins. Stolen by Smart. 
moving it up. That's good for Thomas on the assist from Smart. 13 points for Isaiah Thomas. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Good ball movement here by the 76ers. And he gets the bucket. Hood's got 46 points. What a top-notch game he's having. He's gotten them in front, and it sure seemed like he's going to keep them there. All by himself, it looks like. And Thomas, here we go. That doesn't go either for Thomas. Philadelphia leading by 20. You got it. Get the ball inside. Now here's Jenkins. Here's Hood. And it's Okafor at the elbow. It's good, and that takes him to 77% shooting this game, 10 for 13. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And the foul called on Freak. That's his fourth foul of the contest. That foul gives him four, so he's got to settle down a bit. Crowder, he's checked in for Boston. Bradley drives in. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And at home for the next game, it'll be Detroit pulling into town. That game is the first and last of their homestand. The dish to Hood. The rim-rattling two-handed jam. They've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Boston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Mickey. Thomas a screen. Passes to Bradley. Here's Mickey. How's that for an answer? Right back with the dunk. You know, there are a lot of bigger power forwards than him in the NBA, but very few that rise up like he can. The 76ers leading by 22. Dishes it to Okafor. He kicks it to Hood. It's stolen by Bradley. Here's the break. Finished off the break. Crowder's got 15 points in just the second half. Such a strong finisher on the fast break. And Greg, I love the fact he's always in control even though he's going at breakneck speed. He still maintains his body control. He dishes it to Thomas. Now here's Crowder, covered by Hood. Now Crowder, just five to shoot. And it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got four rebounds now tonight. Here's Hood. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. Sound offensively, really no other way to put it here in the second half. There's no, really no comparison between the teams in terms of the way they both shot the ball since the break. Now here's Crowder. To the middle, here's Mickey. That's good. Mickey's got six points in the quarter. And really a good job spotting his teammate near the bucket and then just pinpoint passing for the finish. Man, he's got a lot of firepower right now. I mean, what a half he's having. For Boston, they've gotten more than 58% of their attempts to go down for them in the fourth quarter. They're 7 of 12. Outside Thomas. The pass to Crowder. Six to shoot. It's Bradley on the wing. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Hood's got his 16th rebound on the night. He's having a tough quarter scoring the basketball and able to help them close this gap. Jenkins can't get it to go. Boston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. To the inside, Crowder, and a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And the first one at the line is good. Jay Crowder. And both free throws good from Crowder. Philadelphia leading by 20. 
Down low, here's Hood, and he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. Solid, solid work on the back end of that play. Yeah, finish hard with two hands on the stuff. Yeah, nothing extravagant, guys, but again, no need on that one. Now, here's Thomas. It's stolen by Jenkins. You got it. Let's get the ball inside. Shot is off. Excellent D from Thomas. The Celtics shooting has been just great in the fourth quarter, 54%. Bradley dishes to Crowder. Off target from three-point range. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Hood, the pass to Noel. Feeds it to Hood. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And Noel kicks to Hood. Here's Okafor. Here's Noel. Basket number eight is all good. He's attempted 12 shots. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. And I say, hey, if it keeps working, go to it. Stay with it. I mean, until the defense responds and provides more resistance, keep making them pay. Now here's Thomas. Pass to Mickey. In the corner, Bradley with it. Again, the miss by the Celtics. He's going to play his way right onto the bench and out of the game if he continues to shoot it like he has so far in this quarter. And Jenkins kicks to Hood. Here's Okafor. Misses the chippy right there. Celtics have gone. 7 to 15 from the floor here in the fourth. Right around 46-47%. And stolen by Hood. You got it. Let's get the ball Here's inside. Jenkins. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. He's had an off game thus far, but his team has been able to pick up the slack and find a way to get it done here. Double team on Thomas. Kicks to Bradley. Thomas, a screen on Thompson. Bradley with the ball, picked up by Thompson. Shot clock at six. Bradley dishes to Crowder. Off the mark, and the drop continues. 76ers shooting wonderfully up to this point, 67%. Jenkins, the pass to Hood. Out to the right wing. Here's Noel, and he goes in for the dunk. What a nice feed, and that assist gives him a triple-double. That's my kind of player. Versatile as baking soda. Multi-uses, multi-dimensional. He can do it all. Now here's Bradley. An easy two points on the lane. Not phased at all by having a bigger defender on him down low, and I really thought he would be. You know, at first glance, you wouldn't think that he'd be comfortable in that particular situation, but, well, I tell you what, he didn't look like he was out of his element at all right there. Here's Okafor. Here's Hood. Tries to save it. And here is Thomas. Here's Crowder. And it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got his eighth rebound here tonight. Okafor. The shot misses. Now the Celtics take it the other way. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Sure could, Kevin. I mean, too many empty trips. They need some points. And, and when it comes to size, it's not a one-on-one -on -one matchup that favors him. You it. Well, you it's wouldn't know it with that finish, I'll tell you. I mean, that took a little bit of creativity right there. And he placed that pass out in front of him and let him just run into it in rhythm. Boston's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Double team on Thomas. Thomas a screen. At the elbow, it's Bradley. To the paint, Mickey takes the assist and lays it in. Pick out the pass nicely. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the 76ers. Agreed, Steve, and as one-sided as it gets today, you know, Clark, there were uh, some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. You're right, Kevin. It's hard to think of anything that didn't. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. A resounding victory for them and Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke.